cleaning, sterilization, and disinfection. Cleaning, the word cleaning according to CDC is the removal of any foreign material from the objects and is normally accomplished using wash, water and with detergents or any enzymatic products. Okay, just water detergents or any enzymatic products to remove any foreign material. So that's the meaning of cleaning. Thorough cleaning is required before any high level disinfection and sterilization because inorganic and organic materials that still remain on the surfaces of the instrument may interfere with the effectiveness of the uh, sterilization process or any disinfection process. So that is why it is essential to uh, do cleaning before you send the instruments for sterilization or any high level disinfection. So there are four types of cleaning, manual cleaning, enzymatic cleaning, ultrasonic cleaning, and automated washers. In manual cleaning, all the uh, surfaces and channels, bores of the instrument must be cleaned. Uh, you should, the cleaner, the cleaning person which should wear the personal protective equipment, remove any gross soiling uh, by rinsing in tepid water. The tepid water temperature should be around 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. And you have to deconstruct or deassemble the equipment apart, immerse them fully in warm water with biodegradable, non-corrosive, non-abrasive and low forming detergent so that uh, it uh, the you are not exposing the um, instrument for further corrosion or rust formation. And visible soil from all these parts should be removed. You should dry the instrument for further procedures. Wet instrument should not be sent for sterilization or any high level disinfection. In enzymatic clinic uh, cleaners, it is used for high fiber optic instruments, etc., um, and other accessories. Uh, hazardous enzymatic clinics are very hazardous, and proper care should be given while you are contacting anything which which is which has been using enzymatic uh, cleaners. The staff have to be very vigilant about that. So, enzymatic cleaner cleaners will be used like this, uh, wearing complete PPE and uh, the instru the um, fiber optic instruments like the instruments which you use in various kinds of scopies okay visualizing the internals of the body part and etc in such in such procedures what all instruments you use enzymatic cleaners can be used to clean them do not disinfect the instrument while using uh, by when ultrasonic cleaners are used, they do not disinfect the instrument. Only what they will do is they will cause high frequency, high energy sound waves. These sound waves will hit the instrument or equipment. And because of this high sound waves, the soiled matter will directly drop off physically. Okay. Thus, it will make the rinsing process and the manual cleaning easier. So they don't disinfect it, disinfect the instrument. They will just remove the solid particles or stuck to the instrument, they will just physically drop them off. It is not appropriate for cannulated instrument, the instruments which have small bores, okay, plastic instruments, two or more metals, okay, some glass, glass may just blast off at the high energy sound waves, syringes and lenses. And daily efficacy tests should be done if you are using ultrasonic cleaners. This is an example of a ultrasonic cleaner. They will not disinfect. They will just cause sound waves, which will physically drop off the solid matter from the instrument. And it will make the rinsing process easier. Automated washers for cleaning basic instruments. It cut down the time of handling each instrument. While when you're doing manual cleaning, you're manually cleaning each and every instrument. What happens in automated washers is a large number of instruments can be washed together, cleaned together. So it will reduce the handling time of each instrument. It must be compliant with national guidelines and standards and it, each automated washer will be uh, produced from different brands. So according to the manufacturer's instru uh, instruction, it has to be handled. So this is an example of an automated washer. Sterilization. The CDC defines sterilization as uh, a process that destroys or eliminates all forms of microbial life and is carried out in the healthcare facilities by physical or any chemical methods. So all materials must be wrapped before sterilization. Only wrapped and packed materials should be described as sterile. So it will destroy and eliminate all forms of microbial life. 
following should be checked before sterilization ensure that the instrument can withstand the process of sterilization okay for example glass usually the glass wares are not uh, sent to autoclaving but they are sent to hot air oven because whatever process of sterilization you are choosing the instrument should withstand the high heat the instrument should uh, should be adequately cleaned the instrument does not require any special treatment before or after sterilization you have to make sure that records of sterilization process and uh, it, it easy traceability should be of the instruments are kept in the cssp so that if at all uh, the sterilization was not adequate the instruments can be called back from the departments so methods of sterilization there is steam autoclave also known as moist heat method or steam under pressure sterilization there is hot air oven also called as dry heat method ethylene oxide automated chemical systems and irradiation so in steam autoclave or a moist heat method autoclave it is a device that sterilizes instruments or other objects using steam under pressure the length of the time required for sterilization depends on the temperature vacuum and pressure so three things you have to keep in mind the temperature vacuum and pressure and it operates under the steam under pressure high heat sterilization it is the most efficient and reliable method to achieve sterility of the instrument and equipment it is recommended for office space also so moist heat method the entire definition is shown in this one picture it works under steam uh, under steam under pressure that is a temperature depends upon the time taken these are the important parameters of the autoclave for example of an autoclave so types of autoclave downward gravity self contained bench top and pre vacuum in downward gravity um, the, uh, sterilization of paste solution and instrument pre vacuum you cannot use solution okay in, in downward gravity solution uh, the items that are liquid in form can be sterilized okay some laboratory reagents etc like that self contained office based small quantity and simple items can be sterilized bench top they do not take wrapped items so whenever you are doing using a bench top autoclave to autoclave some frequently used instrument you have to make sure that you use that instrument immediately and just before the procedure you are sterilizing it and as soon as it is sterilized it should be used for the procedure because it is not wrapped so these are the different examples of um, autoclaves in pre vacuum vacuum clean gowns towels clothes and etc that can be sterilized it is not suited for liquid dry heat sterilization in dry heat sterilization a high temperature is used to kill the microorganisms and bacterial spores hot air uh, it will destroy the pathogen by the process of oxidation when uh, when a pathogen is exposed to high heat the heat will uh, start the oxidation process which will destroy the cell wall and the cell protein of the pathogen thus killing the microorganism it is used on the items that cannot get wet such as powders oils and others okay door unit must not be opened while in the sterilizing cycle because if you directly open the um, st uh, door of the hot air oven while it is in the sterilizing process because of the out uh, the room temperature air in the room temperature temperature is much cooler than the air which is in the hot air oven so this may lead to the uh, damage of the instrument with it dry heat sterilization an example of hot air oven next ethylene oxide it is used for sterilization of instruments and equipments made from heat labile uh, materials or for those devices that contain electronic components which you which cannot withstand high heat high heat of i not even autoclave or dry heat okay so time required to process the instrument is dependent on the temperature humidity concentration level of gas the gas must penetrate the packaging and reach all the surfaces of the instrument otherwise ethylene oxide will not uh, the sterilization using ethylene oxide will not be adequate the time taken is 12 to 24 hours quite long since ethylene oxide is a toxic gas it is restricted in the healthcare facilities but the paramedical areas of the healthcare facilities like research centers um, pharmacy pharmacy companies and there and all ethylene oxide can be used for industrial purposes this is an example of an ethylene oxide chamber next is automated chemical system okay there are two examples hydrogen peroxide plasma and parasitic 
acid okay so these um, liquids will be converted into plasma and they will be uh, uh, they will function under low temperature and low moisture sterilization will be achieved so again the instruments which cannot withstand high heat they can put into the automated chemical system and within 45 to 80 minutes uh, depending upon the model of the sterilizer sterilization process will take place okay parasitic acid is also a low temperature sterilization method 0.2% of parasitic acid is used uh, it is placed in an environmentally sealed chamber and fully automated processing system the process achieves moist uh, low temperature sterilization within 25 to 30 minutes so it will not take much longer and with low temperature and with this chemical uh, solutions uh, which will be converted into plasma sterilization can be achieved automated system is an example of chemical automated system irradiation gamma radiation is available from some commercial gamma radiation facility however it is not readable readily available for the use in healthcare facilities for various reasons so for example uv radiation gamma radiation what it will do to a microorganism it will convert the microorganism into a nanoparticle so now this nanoparticle is incapable of any infection for the infection so this is how a sterilization process is achieved using different kinds of radiation materials used for packaging should include paper towel non woven containers etc load number quality control parameters checklist uh, as infection control officer you should check every sterilized uh, object when wrapped it has a load number at what number uh, and which unit has sterilized it load content what all are the con contents of the sterilized package temperature and time of exposure what what temperature at till what time how long it was exposed to the high heat what chemical uh, physical and chemical testing has done to ensure that the sterilization procedure was adequate if any biological testing was done or not and regular re engineering and maintenance and documentation should be maintained these are the quality parameters that that the infection control officer should should check disinfection cdc defines disinfection as uh, it is a process that eliminates most or all the pathogenic organism except bacterial spores so except for bacterial spores most of the uh, pathogenic organisms can be eliminated through disinfection it is usually accomplished with liquid chemicals high level disinfection is capable of killing bacterial spores also when used in sufficient concentration uh, and for the required contact time disinfection is not a sterilizing process so it should not be substituted for sterilization high level disinfection intermediate and low level these are the different three levels of disinfection in high level all the microorganisms will be destroyed except some bacterial spores not all some some bacterial spores will be destroyed and some will not be and the chemical used is glutaraldehyde glutar 2% or ethylene oxide in intermediate disinfection it inactivates microbacterium tuberculosis most viruses fungi but it does not kill all spores and alcohols chlorine chloride compounds hydrogen peroxide chlorhexidine glutaraldehyde are the examples of chemicals used in intermediate disinfection in low level disinfection it kills most of the bacteria some virus and some fungi but it cannot kill some resilient bacteria uh, benzyl conium chloride some soap these are the chemicals used these are different types levels of disinfection methods of disinfection thermal and chemical in thermal disinfection um, the the uh, equipments or instruments used should be able to withstand the process of heat and moisture and it uh, and these are the the thermal disinfection is used for the items which are not required to be sterile for example trolleys and all okay trolleys and some uh, and some tray to keep or put miscellaneous things which will not be used for any surgical procedure or any patient care procedure and all so it is not required to be sterile but it has to be very clean in such cases thermal disinfection is used in chemical disinfection it depends upon the temperature contact time concentration ph presence of any organic or inorganic material and resistance to the biopartan so the uh, solution which you we are using for a chemical particular chemical disinfection it has to depend on these factors so minimum surface temperature and time required for thermal disinfection you can see as the surface temperature decreases okay 
as an as an as and when the temperature gets uh, um, colder and colder the time required for disinfection increases because how much warm would be the uh, solution easily it will be disinfected so heat is also a very important factor in thermal disinfection again the levels of uh, chemical disinfection high intermediate and low high will inactivate all the microbial pathogen except some spores intermediate again by all the microbial pathogens except some bacterial spores Uh, intermediate level disinfection it inactivates all the microbial pathogens except some bacterial spores low level meth disinfection rapidly inactivate most vegetative bacteria as well as the medium sized lipid containing viruses but it may not destroy bacterial spores mycobacterium fungi or small non lipid viruses glutaraldehyde it is generally uh, the most appropriate and chemical disinfection that will provide high level disinfection it must be used under very strict and controlled con conditions and glutaraldehyde 2% is the concentration which is used for disinfection immersion time time should be greater than 20 minutes meticulous mechanical cleaning manual cleaning is required before you uh, do the glutaraldehyde treatment 2% treatment so common description uh, used this is shown in page number uh, 99 this table is in page number 99 uh, please go through through that for examination purpose common disinfection and antiseptics used for clean uh, skin cleaning it is there in page number 100 for examination purpose these tables are important it is given as it is in uh, textbook antimicrobial uh, activity for the disinfections in page number 